It is July 2023, and I wanted to share a poem that I wrote during this injury I've had. This has been one of the hardest years of my life, if not the hardest, and poetry is a way that I have used for quite a while just to get my thoughts out, uh, talk to God in a way that that just makes sense in my brain and helps me to think through things, but most importantly, to worship God and to express to Him the thoughts in my mind and the thankfulness that I have for uh, my relationship with him. So here it is. As I sit here and reflect on my life at this current moment, it's easy to fear in this valley low. The frustration is potent. Why, God, am I in this difficult, depressing situation in life? Can't you see how hard this is not only on me, but my wife? It's been so hard to feel completely unable to contribute useless. Stuck in a fog of frustration as I crutch around, helpless. I feel like such a burden on all those around me, family and friends. It feels at times that all the hopes and dreams I had are now dead ends. Lord, I had plans that I made to bring you praise. As writer for Christ, I want to share the gospel from close to far away. But mid-event, as my Achilles ruptured for some unknown reason, I cried to you, God, please don't let me miss the rest of this season. But God, that's obviously not your will at this time. So I pray as my Savior Jesus did, your will be done, not mine. But like Job, as the valley keeps going lower, this life I'm tempted to scoff. As my employer lets me know, the whole team is being laid off. Although I've been successful, well over quota, contracts change, they end. Now a toothache I can't afford to fix. Lord, how much farther can I descend? As I sit here and feel sorry for myself during this unknown time of diagnosing this injury, won't God, how you have been speaking to and truly helping me. From long-lost friends who needed prayer as their kid goes into surgery, to a nurse who was lost and needed prayer of her own, her name was Sherry. I know that all the time you are so, so good. Help me to praise you in this storm as I know that I should. It will be insufficient, God, for what you have done for me. Through Jesus Christ, as he paid the price for my sin, on that cross, on the hill called Calvary. God, please allow me to share this good news with somebody today. That Jesus is risen. He overcame sin and the grave on that resurrection Sunday. Because even if it looks terrible from an outsider's perspective, and skeptics may say, where's your God now? As they laugh at my leg defective. I pray that they will know one day what I know about who you are that Jesus, you are with me in my struggle. The evidence is engraved in your hands, feet, and side scar. In the low times, Lord, I know that you are in fact here. And though at times I feel far off, you are with me so near. Thank you, God, for those times that you open my eyes to see that though life's not easy, you're right here beside me. On that cross, Jesus, you conquered it all. Yes, all the brokenness we have from now all the way back to the fall. And though there will still be hard times in this life that I endeavor, there is joy in knowing I'll be a part of your kingdom that will last forever. So when someone asks me, hey, Alan, what's your story? I'll answer is to share how holy Jesus is who saves and deserves all honor, praise, and glory. If you, listener, are in a time of distress and your life right now feels like a big mess, please seek Jesus, for he is up for the task. It is simple. Just pray and talk to God about your situation. Any questions you have, just ask. If I can pray for you or answer any questions, let me know. For Jesus is the life, truth, and way I'd love for the opportunity for you to show.
That's my poem. I hope that it has blessed you. Just like I said in the poem, if you need prayer, if you have questions, please reach out. I'd love to answer those. Jesus is my favorite person to talk about. God loves you. God knows you. And if there's any way that I can help in that relationship with God that you are starting, that you want to have, or that you do have and that you want to take to the next level, I'd love to, to talk. So please reach out. God bless you. Have a great day.